All right, everybody, welcome back. Another gig log for you this week. Back at the Meadows, we were here a few weeks ago. My man, there he is, Saquon's in the building. We're out here in the middle of a meadow, uh, getting ready to do the ceremony. I'll give you some shots of that in just a second. Of course, we are running the LSP 500 again from Sennheiser. Got the mics right there, built in. Check this rig out. I bought it on Amazon, this little umbrella here. Will. Just clamps onto the tray and then it's giving a little bit of shade to this. Also, thinking about putting one of these on the efficiency mic because it's breezy out here. If you've never bought one of these, go on BH Photo. I'll put a link down below for it. Uh, I call it a cat head or a fuzzy cat. This will take some of that wind noise out of your lavalier microphone. So, we're getting ready to get started out here with the ceremony. This is my buddy's wedding, so we brought everything out today. We've got all the lighting, we've got all the add ons, all the toys. It is going to be a party tonight. I'll show you what we're working with when we get back inside after the ceremony. So, this is also my uh, second ceremony using the DJ app, DJ AY. I know people have been telling me about it for years and I've been kind of sleeping on it, just using my iPod and clicking through the songs. But with the ability to crossfade and channel fade, it's made it a lot easier and smoother for my music, for my ceremony. So I definitely think you guys should check out the DJ AY app. Let's see if y'all can see it here. Got a couple little turntables, got your crossfader, channel fader, and a couple other features. It's Ceremony's done. Guests are on the way down here. We got the photo booth set up. We got the big boy system here set up. And uh, we're about to get started with the cocktail hour. I need everybody on your feet, please. Everybody on your feet. It is my Me and Saquon are out here for the big sparkler departure. Gonna try out the sparkler boxes. <laughs> Never run them before. We'll see how it goes. It's a surprise to the couple, so it might be dope. If they don't fire off, it's gonna be pretty lame. Yeah. Again? Yeah! Yes! Let's go! Keep going, keep going! <laughs> Pyro! <laughs> All right, guys, so back in the office after reviewing the footage from Saturday and thinking back on the memories. Man, what a wedding. Ty and Allison, amazing people. Uh, he's definitely a friend of mine, owns a, a sneaker shop in Durham that I frequent called Swish that he opened recently. He even gave me a pair of Air Force Ones like his groomsmen were wearing for my tip, which was so cool. Just an amazing wedding and this was really the first time that me and Saquon have taken out every single thing that I own basically. We took out all the gear, the DJ booth command center from Bun Gear. We took out the Astera tube. We took out the Novo Pro totems. We took out all the uplights. We took out the Chauvet Intimidator 360 movers. Ran those off sound switch. We took out the sparklers, which we did at the departure, uh, you'll see there. We did the CO2 cannon, which you'll see there. We took everything I had. Every bell, every whistle, the kitchen sink, we did it all. And you know, I I guess for somebody that's that's always gone out by himself and done these types of shows and been more quote unquote basic, I will say honestly, uh, it's a ton of work. I definitely needed an assistant, so I'm glad Saquon could have been with me. And at the end of the day, we're not a production company, we're a DJ company. You know, everything went well. Uh, I'll say this, when you take that much stuff, you can guarantee something's not gonna go 
perfectly. And if I had to point out that one thing in this particular show, it would have been Sound Switch. Sound Switch, I definitely need to work with it some more, tweak with it some more, probably set up my gear right here in the studio and actually test it some more because there were too many instances of songs that maybe didn't get scanned and when they didn't get scanned, they did nothing. No up lights, movers, just completely dark. Like it just was not cool. And so to be frank with you, I just put the both up lights on a static color, something funky like red or blue, I think. I can control that from sound switch. So I change the colors every once in a while, but then I just went in the menu and went to sound mode on the movers, quite frankly. I just got fed up uh, with the sound switch not popping off the songs. So if I had to say that was one thing is just, you know, get help, know that it's gonna be more time to set up, more time to get out of there, and that something is probably not gonna work perfectly. And in this case, it wasn't a major issue, of course. They still work. Everybody had an amazing time, as you can tell from the footage. All in all, probably one of my top five weddings in the last 10 years, maybe ever. Killer, killer response, killer couple, great wedding period, hands down. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you like the gig logs, the reviews, whatever else I try and teach you guys or show you guys. I hope you take it to heart and apply it to your business. Thank you for watching. As always, give me a like if you don't mind. Comment on the video because I respond to all those. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel. We post new videos every single Thursday. Hit the bell so you know when it pops off. It's usually around 3 o'clock Eastern time. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you back next week. Peace. So bad.